About 10 years and a half a billion dollars later, the Museum of Natural History has got a new hall, and we are here to check out the Richard Gilder Center for Science, Education, and Innovation, all 230,000 square feet of it. You know, Lori, here's the thing about the Museum of Natural History. I think adults get just as excited about it as kids do. I completely agree. Sometimes I think people bring their children and they think, oh, it's going to be good for the children. And then secretly they're like, oh, this is a little more interesting for me than I imagined. Yeah, and now we have 230,000 more square feet to take in here. First of all, the space is just so amazing. We have an insectarium, a butterfly vivarium. We have a marvelous collections core Exhibition, bats, oh, wow. marine toads, parrots, crinoids. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more than just exhibitions. There's a new public face for our natural history library, which has always been part of the museum, but was tucked away. You couldn't see it so easily. There's even a new sit down restaurant. There's so many different pieces of this. It's really fun. <laughs> that not everyone loves insects. Not everybody loves them like the blue whale and the mammals with their big eyes and their fur, but insects are really running the world. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah. What is this? <laughs> You're in a projection space. The sound moves around the space. There's a narrator to give you a sense of the story, but the narration is a little light so that you really just experience the world here. Oh, wow. Here we are. Wow. How many different types of butterflies will we find in here? Right now, there's about 80 different species, several hundred butterflies. And throughout the course of the year, we have different species. They come to us from butterfly farms. They're all ethically raised. And we get them as pupae. Because we get different kinds throughout the year, we have an ID board where you can see what's flying today. Ooh, something's tickling me. You wear it well. I think in the past, when people would think of the Museum of Natural History, they think of the dinosaurs. But now they'll think of the Gilder Center as well. I think that's right. You know, there's all these permanent halls in the existing campus, so many new exhibits to see. You can't do it all in one day. It's a big museum. Pick the things you love and come back. And you know I will. Thank you so much. This center is fun and informative, and I absolutely loved it.